All right, Rob, let's get into it. Speaking of soccer, sock him. Wow. Because Zach Wilson <laughs> got socked, figuratively speaking. He's gotten benched, Rob. Robert Sala, um, who on s- two weeks ago after he threw three picks against New England, said, no, Zach is our quarterback. A few days ago after he threw for 77 yards in another loss to New England and accounted for three points, he said, Zach Wilson is our quarterback. Yesterday he said, I don't know. And today he benched him. So um, here's my take quickly, Rob. I don't have a problem with it. Um, Zach Wilson has not been very good, obviously. I, I'm not a, a Mike White guy. I'm not under no delusion that he's, you know, the answer. But I will say this. He showed in four games things that Zach Wilson didn't show in 20. And he threw for 405 yards in a game. Zach threw for 300 once, 300 or more once. Uh, He threw three touchdowns in a game. Zach never has. So we'll see. Um, Here's the other thing about it, Rob. I don't think this means Zach Wilson is like done, especially done in the league. But I don't even know. I'm not, I'm not even convinced it means he's done with the New York Jets. I think Robert Sala meant it when he said he's got to reset and we're going to do those things and, you know, see if we can get him back out there. Now, obviously, they want Mike White to play well, right? They want to keep winning games. And if that happens, then Zach, we won't see Zach again anytime soon. So that part is, you know, may not happen. But I do believe Robert Sala when he said, you know, this doesn't mean we're done with him. Because I just think that unless you just know, Rob, the guy's terrible and you're already convinced that he is not the one, um, then I don't think this quickly you would sour on a guy. And, Rob, what was a month, month and a half ago, people thought Justin Fields was a bust. Jalen Hurts at points last season, people thought was a bust. You know, Tua, Rob, how many times, how many people thought Tua was a bust last year? So I am not done with Zach. I'm I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I've seen something that, oh, there it is. No, I haven't seen anything that makes me think he's going to be a very good quarterback. I'm just saying I'm not going to write the kid off after essentially a year and a half in a bad organization. I know they're winning now, and they do have things in, in better shape. Salah, I think, is a good coach. I think they, you know, they've obviously, the front office is better now, and they've drafted some good players. But uh, I, I think, you know, Marcus Mariota was a second-round pick. And I, granted, he and Trubisky and these guys got off to better starts than Zach Wilson has. But... I think he'll get another chance, whether it's with the Jets, whether it's elsewhere. And if he's a good player, if he takes this like I think a professional should and get in the lab and work on, even if you have to work on your attitude to some degree, work on your game, work on your film study, you know, whatever it may be, learn from it and become a better player, I think he'll get another shot. So I don't think this means he's done. But uh, I don't have an issue with it because he hasn't shown me a ton yet. To me, this isn't about Zach Wilson at all. This is about Robert Sala. Mm. This is his defining moment as a coach for the Jets. It really is. Because, Chris, sometimes you got to make a decision. And if it works, then people will look at you and say, man, he may he pulled the trigger He benched the big quarterback who they drafted and they all wanted and everything worked out for the Jets and they went on to go to the playoffs. And if Mike White disappoints and doesn't plays more like the guy, because Mike White, you're right, has done some stuff, Chris, but it wasn't enough to keep him in in playing uh, when uh, Zach Wilson came back. Because there's times when he had the one game where he had the four picks. Exactly. Yeah. So, so I I don't know which Mike White is showing up, but this is on Robert Sala because 
if this blows up in their face and Mike White uh, turns into Jeremy Lin, Chris, then this will be on, and the so Jets don't make the playoffs. And- yeah, you know what I mean? And and things don't work out, and they lose games, and the quarterback play doesn't improve. And I'm, I, I think this will be on him. And I still remember, to me, there was a moment I remember in New York Giants, in New York football Giants history that I always stood out to me. And you remember this, Chris, in 2000. Jim Fossil was the coach of the Giants. And the Giants lost back-to-back games and dropped to 7-4. and four, And the media was coming down on him. What's going on with the team? Why are you losing? Blah, blah, blah. And he felt a little pressure. He stood up there at the, at feeling like, Things were coming undone in mid-November. Right. right. And he stood up there, Chris, and looked into the New York media, and he said, I guarantee you we make the playoffs. I guarantee you. And Did they make it? They made it. And now, those are something that, Chris, you know, never want to do because once you guarantee something like that, and if it didn't work out, he would have been finished. This was 2000. The late Jim Fossil, because he passed right. away, Chris, now, uh, uh, which is shocking. But he passed away, I think, at 71. But anyway, this moment here. So are here, you saying they have to make the playoffs now? Yeah, yeah, they do. Oh, gosh. I, I, that's where I wholly disagree. Uh, they're 6-4. and four. If They're the not season, supposed to make the playoffs. If the season flames out is what I'm talking about, if the season flames out and Mike White isn't good, You'll look back at this moment. That's what I'm talking about. But do you think people really? I mean, let's be honest. Do we really expect Mike White to be good? No, I, I, I don't mean, think anybody's looking at it like, "Oh, here comes the savior." Whether it was White or Flacco and Rob, I look. They've had a nice season so far. But if they make the playoffs with or without Zach Wilson, I know where they're at right now. But I think people would be shocked. I, I think where they are, they're still in the mix, Chris, to, for they're the They're the worst season. team in their division. Now, I get it. All four can make it. They're only a game behind being but in second place. they're still the worst team yeah, in their division. But I, I, it's not like they're that far behind. My point is. But don't that you if, think there's a healthy distance between. And I'm talking about just quality no, I'm talking of the about, team. I'm talking about record. I get the record, but the quality of the team, Buffalo and Miami, there's a huge gap. Chris, between if, them and the Jets. If they and lose, then New England's beating them twice. If they lose their next three games, I'm I'm just giving you the the ultimate other side of it if this if this move just backfires. Like the guy you're putting in the guy who you took out. Remember at one time they were playing around with Mike White. Oh, we don't know. We gotta wait and see uh what we're gonna do. I mean, he's been doing this already. All I'm saying is if the if the Jets fall off the map and all, like they they had a season so far they went to Green Bay and won there they got six wins nobody expected this and I'm right. just saying so if he's it's already a, done a good job yeah probably. but if but at this point where you're trying to fix something and if it doesn't but, work yeah. I, I I do I really believe I like this will be a moment this will be a moment because I, I I just don't think anybody's expecting like this has been gravy no nah, see if, if you weren't expecting Jets. anything. Then you would stick with your, your pick, your quarterback, and let him work through it. If there were no expectations, well, now you they won have a expect- little. Well, but yeah, that's but what- you you really think they think Mike White's about to come in and work magic? Yeah, I do believe really? they think I, they I, they do. I they don't think know why they going, would. They think He's they're going to win Western now. Kentucky threw they think, four interceptions last time we saw him. They think I mean, they're going to win now that they got rid of the weak link. This on is the a Jets. team that hasn't made the playoffs in more than a decade. This is a team that hasn't had a winning season since 2015. Chris, they're six Salah's and four got now. Them six and, I know, but I'm saying Salah's got like I I don't I don't know. It sounded initially. I don't think you're saying this. Like if the season goes south, that Salah's job could be in jeopardy. I didn't jeopardy. say that. That's not I know. What I'm saying. At, is that what it's it the sounded way you, like? You no, were. I'm is talking that, about the way people will look at him going forward. And did he overreact? Did he did he make the wrong move? Did he put in the guy who he already took out because he didn't think he was good enough? Like th- those are the things that people look at in these moments. If you're telling me uh, that uh, you had a, a a Colt McCoy or some or some backup quarterback who's who's done something or won some games, some big games or some situations, then it's totally different. This is a well, guy who you, you who you who you didn't believe 
could do it, even though he had some spectacular moments. That's all I'm saying. Who? Uh, White. Who some spectacular White. Oh, the oh. first few games. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I just think when you don't have a quarterback, this is kind of how it goes. And like I said, I don't think Zach is done. I mean, he might be playing in three games from now. But I think when you you don't have a quarterback, which is their case, Zach's not the guy, at least right now. Mike White probably isn't the guy. Flacco's old. Just what you do. They're trying to win around the quarterback. And so that's all I think this 